Hey guys, we're Time6, we're back with another episode request. Today we're checking out Higurashi When They Cry episode six. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts. Remember to subscribe for future uploads. You could also check out our Patreon page, get early access and full reactions for all the shows and movies that we watch on the channel. That's also where you can request your own episode for us to watch. Link is gonna be down below. Help support the channel by checking it out. And this was requested to us by Ruben Philomala. Thank you for the request. And let's get started right away. Shion. We know. <laughs> one of my favorite shows of all time has an intro similar to this one. Which is? Future Diary. The anime? Yeah. Sick. Which future one came Diary? They write diary about the future? That's exactly what it is. Damn. So it's like 14 different people and they all have a diary and it gives them information about the future in different ways. So the main guy, his, is uh, he has his own personal diary, but the entries have already been inputted in his diary. Mm -hmm. So him from the future has already put in the entries of what's gonna happen that day. What the fuck? And then each person has their I'm own diary that works differently. Zeppi! Thanks, Zeppi. It's your girl. <laughs> wow. Damn. That was some gaslighting. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Bro, chill. Oh, I hate that. Rough and selfish? Oh! <laughs> you downed it like a. You, okay, me too. You forced this upon yourself. Yeah. What? Oh! oh. This おや、皆さん、こんばんは。おいしい。アステルケージ。誰が消えるんでしょうね。シオン。あっと。そういう話は吹き込まない主義なの。行こう、ケイちゃん。え、シオンはガン?何の話だよ。よ。いや、what <笑> これらの人間の事故は毎年必ず渡流しのお祭りの晩に起こるんだよ。ガラティリ。人間の仕業かもしれないって言ってるんだよ。だってそうでしょ。ただでも偶然でもないとしたら人の意志が働く。Cursed <笑><笑> is that the proof? <laughs> okay, chill, nurse lady. Little did you know, that will be you. Has she always had that holster? Why are we just seeing it now? Dude! I think she always had She's the holster. totally in there. No way we I'm didn't staring at the mag. Not. She had it. I'm telling you. Oh. Oh, oh dance time. リカちゃんのエンブなんか見たかったんですかリカちゃん。ひょっとしてストライクゾーンものすごく低くありませんわ。ボボザ。あれを見てください。で、シュライン。おお、they're poking the yeah. I'm so confused. Is her family one of the allowed ones? <laughs> if it's not fun. <laughs> Damn straight. What are you expecting to be in there? <laughs> Riveting experience. <laughs> Guardian of the Galaxy? <laughs> it was pretty chill. What? <gasps> We've seen this, haven't we? 
そしてそれは、uh-huh. 犠牲者を美味しくいただくために渡流しの儀式が開かれたという。That hole. <laughs> What? Okay, no, 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 no. The hole. The gardening tool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just sounded weird、yeah. when I read it. <laughs> oh. But who ate them? <gasps> no, you wouldn't think that. That is so graphic, dude. I do not know. You better not show us that. What's gonna happen to you, lady? Why does she look evil? She talks evil. Yes, <laughs> she does. Me too. Oh, that's the one. No, there wasn't. She's talking shit. What is she gonna. Oh, yeah, she's talking shit. I knew it. <laughs> Bro, be proud. Say yes. No, he doesn't want her. Oh, she doesn't have her holster. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how old is she? s u p p o s e d to be 16, I think. Wow! Cops are creep. I'm splitting. Of course you do. Oh, this is the scene we saw when they were talking. Remember? They were talking, but over the phone, in person? No, it was the scene. They were, it was in person. We had this conversation. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. How does he know that? Well, that could be either the previous group or his friends, right? He was with two four people groups. Clara's throat. Are two people going to disappear? Oh! Looking is the crime. <laughs> I was so bored. Jeez,、Damn. disrespect. I wonder if that was Mion. Alright, guys, that was the reaction portion of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for the discussion. If there's any part of the episode that we weren't able to keep in our YouTube edit, click the link down below for the full uncut reaction. And let's discuss now. So, there's a lot of information here.、Mm-hmm. Um, where do we start? Because we all kind of got the information in a similar, like, kind of the same scenes, like back to back to back. Well, let's start with the fact that this is before the death, right? Yep. But certain things are playing out very differently. One major thing being the fact that, you know, the twin, that was never even a thing. Yeah. In the first five episodes, four episodes. So I guess we could t- start with the information we got surrounding the curse, because they basically broke down one version of it. Which was that so when the town was threatened by the city to build a dam and the people were protesting, it looks like they went to the shrine and they prayed to this god to protect them,、mm-hmm. who was the high something something, something ogre? guardian. Oh, guardian, guardian. He's the town guardian. Guardian of Hinozima. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.、Um, and after they've done that, so on one hand, Yes, the dam wasn't built, but now you have this annual reoccurring, you know, 
horrifying situation. All where, the people that were involved. Yeah, where someone dies and someone goes missing. So, I guess and, my. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, so that's my confusion. What what I don't understand is that. So I was originally thinking that the people dying was the result of the curse. You know, like the deaths are are Oyashiro Sama's. You know, his subordinates going around and doing his mm -hmm. dirty work. But Mion said something. I mean, Shion said something completely different. And she said that the deaths are what anger Oyashiro Sama, and in retaliation, he kidnaps people to sacrifice them. So it's like a cause and effect. And the cause, again, isn't Oyashiro Sama. He's the, he's the retaliation. I think there's two forces at play here. One is the guardian, and the other is this ogre thing. Cause yeah, what the hell is this ogre I, thing? No, I think they're at odds. Maybe the ogre is causing the deaths. Ooh. And... The guardian is doing the sacrifice, but then you have to think about why wouldn't you just go after the ogre or like, or sacrifice the people who are being compelled? Why would you have to do it for some random fuck? Yeah. Cause like this, like the nature of the sacrifices made sense to me in the first half of the episode. I was like, okay, let's say, you know, they spoke to this God and he, and he talked back, you know, and they struck up a deal and they said, <laughs> okay, you again, divert these city people so they don't build a freaking dam here. And in exchange, we'll send you like a sacrifice or something every year to, to appease you, you know? So damn for life. That would make sense. So, but apparently that's not the case. Yeah, that doesn't explain the ogre stuff. Also, did they trigger it by opening it? Like, I don't... Well, I think that someone was going to die anyways because that's the okay. tradition, right? Every year at the mm. thing. Well, why is, is it, it at the thing? Is it two people? Is it always at the festival? Yeah, it's the night of the festival. Yeah, it's not the necessarily same day, the same at day. the festival because they mentioned yeah. about how some commoner left mm -hmm. and they were on vacation and they fell off a cliff on vacation. <coughs> so, I, I, but there were townspeople I believe that left and then died the night of. So that sucks. But, <laughs> that um, sucks. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. But let's talk about what we do know is that. Xion is putting in the work while Mion is getting manipulated out of putting in the work. <laughs> um, I don't know what this dynamic can turn into with Xion because something seems very off. Yeah. Me. I think it's safe to assume that she's using him. We don't know for yeah. what yet. But she's definitely mm. luring him on to these different paths and not explaining anything. Mion doesn't seem as creepy anymore. But she keeps diverting. Like, that's why like, you well, can't trust what, her. What was she diverting? Uh, it was a question about... What was it about? It wasn't even a big question. No, all he asked was, is Oichi the, a cop? And then no one oh. answered because it's like, who cares? Oh, and then but she was like, like normal, I don't want to talk about it. But she diverted, you know? She was like, oh, what are you hungry for? That shouldn't be I a weird. That should guess. Like, that's a normal question, you know. But, oh, is he a cop? Yes or no? No, but the problem there is that there's no reason to look into that diversion because he could he could find out so easily. But I think that it's because he can find out so easily that it's weird that she's again being so weird about it. Okay. Like it's, 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 she was being weird about it. She stopped for a second and then she was like, "Yeah, or, let's go eat." Or, something. or she was just ignoring him. I mean, Keiichi does kind of talk aloud a lot. <clears throat> And she, was she, still, she, she, she was still mad that he was on Xion. So she's maybe. like, fuck this guy's question. Maybe. Or she was just starving and waiting for him to shut up and be like, okay, can we go eat now? <laughs> right? God. I don't know, like the question itself is not a big deal. So. Yeah, it's it's not. It's just, there must be a reason for why it, she's acting this way. If he asked, like, oh, well, why is a cop here? Then she deflected. Then that's a, you know? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's definitely but, more sus. I don't know. So now the shrine, they're inside. Uh, yeah, we, actually, learned, we got a lot of information actually about uh, these torture devices and. So help me understand that. So is that like, a, are those antiques? Is that like an old thing that you It was a practice that used to be, well, from her research. Okay, because here's the thing, torture right? Torture people. So Oyashiro Sama, so he's always been a deity, but they only like needed him four years ago to protect the town. But he's already been there because they, they mentioned that in like the Roman period, they were taking out people's intestines. Did, so did you, did you catch that? Like, why are they taking out people's guts? It was torture. There was too much information there. Yeah, I, I didn't catch it. It was torture because she's uh, 
She says specifically that the, that you stay alive yeah. while it happens. So I'm guessing they're criminals or something. No, but there was a reason for the food. They're the, like the, the, oh. the eating. I, I just didn't, I, I didn't get it. Okay, I don't know. Oh, was that the sacrifice for the ogres? I think that's it. I think that's bang on. I think that was, yeah. I think that's what we're missing here. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. The correlation with the ogre thing is is oh. eluding me right now. No, no, but that buys into your theory though, because now you have two conditions, right? You need to appease Oyashiro sama and you need to appease the ogres. So on one hand, you have the, the murder, which is Oyashiro, and then you have the sacrifice, which is for the uh, ogres. It's like they eat the person and then this person just Yeah, dies. so normally, uh, excluding this time, you have the one death where the body is found, mm. and then the missing person is probably tortured and sent to like, or wherever. So you never find the body. Okay. With all this in mind, what do we think about Keiichi's death and his two friends? That's three deaths well, in one night. Okay, yeah, but Ke uh, Keiichi also, uh, he he died in a similar way that they explained here, which is scratching mm -hmm. at the, the throat, mm -hmm. you know? So that part of the curse or lore is true. But the other two died from his hands, no? Didn't he beat, beat them? He, yes. was, he was fighting them, right? Oh, right. I think, you're, I think you got it. I think what did that I get? I don't, I don't know I what I got. <laughs> ogres and Oyashiro sama are at odds. Because think about it. Oh. Keiichi was murdered by Oyashiro sama. We know that because you heard the voices and I'm pretty sure you confirmed it. He, he said it out loud. He said Oyashiro sama like something, something. And we know that the girls, we don't know if they're, we know they have ogre blood. But we don't know exactly what's possessing them with their eyes and all that. But well, they were being compelled. That's what we learned. Yeah, they were oh, being compelled. Phone? But no, it, it stayed up. Um, they were being compelled. But I don't think it's the same as Keiichi because when Keiichi was in his trance, did his eyes change? I don't think they did. I don't think we ever saw it. We just saw the zoom out shot of him in the telephone booth. But I feel like they would have shown us that. So I think that the eyes thing is the ogre thing and the voices. But if, there, if there's two things compelling people, then it's like, ugh. That's so weird. But then at the same time, but they're in tandem because in the Oyashiro Sama shrine, there's the utensils to appease the ogres. So is it one and the same? <sighs> exactly. Then is it like an old faction that's split off into two sections now and you have like some old dude and some- Well, they did people? say it's an old practice. Okay, we can't make sense now. Let's talk about the end scene. <laughs> where we learned from uh, Xion that this year it was two people dead and potentially two sacrifices yet to happen. <gasps> which we were assuming would be those two because they were there, but that doesn't line up with what we saw before where he dies. So I'm still confused on like how that fits in. I think it fits in as her being a person in power on Oyashiro Sama's side. So think about it this way. So she obviously coerced him into going to the shrine. Mm -hmm. So let's say she knew what was gonna happen and what would, you know, what would be the results of them going there. And she knew that both of them would die because she kind of had a hunch. She literally told them, you know, oh, they might die. Um, so if she did know that, then maybe it does make sense because she knows that she'll be safe because who died? and Keiichi's present or whatever. It was Mion, not Shion, right? Yeah. You're talking about when he died? The, the baseball bat, yeah. He kills Mion. And yeah, because we didn't even know about Shion. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm so fucked. Okay, I'm curious now. Do you think if we go back to those episodes, we'll no. see- I wonder if I'm- Mion in the Shion's clothes and it's actually Shion, but we didn't know the difference. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the hair is a distinction because Shion. Well, the hair's always the same. No, no, it's not. Uh, Shion. It's usually the clothes. It's the hair too. Trust me. Shion has like a bow. Uh, Mion has a ponytail. Like the I never seen this, this episode. It different. was different. Yeah, right. but it's so similar that you don't catch it unless you know. No, no, yeah. So like, it could but, still and it's be only a thing. For the back that I, I noticed. It could, it. it could still be a thing if we go back. We could be like, oh, they just she just changed clothes or I'm, her yeah, hair. I might go back and check. Because we still don't have any explanation for what happened in the last episode with the food, right? Where like, where was it? Like, Shion, uh, Mion went, but then Shion immediately appeared. So like the timing didn't make any sense whatsoever. Also, no one else in that town knew about them being twins. No, they know. The oh, cop knew. The, the cop knew. He's like, are you Mion or, yeah. or Shion? I don't even know. So who but didn't? Th that's the weird thing. It's like, 
why is this only being applied now? Yeah. Why wasn't it being applied in episode one, two, three, four? Like people were mingling and inter uh, like you know talking to each other, but no one ever brought up. It's like Xion. they're filling the gaps from previous episodes that we didn't even know that they were gaps. Like this is a new new information. Even that conversation in the library with Oishi, I'm pretty sure their first meeting was at like a table like this or something. Yeah. But maybe it was a coffee coffee shop and not a library. I, I can't remember. But the Oishi and uh, Keichi interaction was super weird. Also, so yeah. I don't know what the f is this like a fucking alternate dimension. Yeah. It's the only thing that can make sense now. Because nah. things did not play out like this last time. I don't know. Yeah. Like a first time? It's been another, multiverse. Another thing is that we had an interesting or rather unique death this episode, which was immolation. So the lady, the nurse, she was burnt to death. That Wait is a like minute. Very different in contrast to what we've seen with the other deaths. Like Wait. We know about the... Yeah? This is an alternate dimension then. Wasn't she confirmed to be missing? The first time? How do you confirm someone's missing? They're not around. You like can confirm someone missing. Like there's okay, okay. Yeah. I was like like alternatively to her being dead. Oh yeah, you need yeah. a body. Okay. Yeah. Miss uh, dead uh conf assumed dead is after a certain amount of time of missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, am I okay, I don't know if you guys remember, but when photographer guy died, maybe episode two or whatever, the first time the festival happened, didn't Oishi come in and say that the girl he was with is now missing? I'm pretty sure. I, I, that sounds she was weird. missing. Yes, he, and she was the was culprit. Dead. Yes, I'm pretty sure she was the main culprit because she was missing. So now things are playing out differently. There's a different dimension. Otherwise, how the fuck does uh, Xion know about the, the immolation? Maybe she just didn't tell anyone. And the cops Unless she did it. Wait. And body was never found by Oishi? What if... Yeah, was never found. Yeah. What if Xion doesn't even exist? And Shion is Bro. actually Oyashiro Sama. No, no, think about it. Think about it. And now he's in this demon universe, and Oyashiro, through Shion, is now manipulating him to participate in all these events so that he is given this consensus that he's part of this curse, but in reality, he's just being manipulated to believe everything. My brain Because he is, is super a, gullible. This is a mind fuck, and I love it. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. If, if maybe it's not another dimension. I really want to know. It's not another dimension, but because it could be explained away. It's like she could still have died that way, but only one person knows, which is Shion. Because mm. no one else said it. Or she didn't say it. Mm -hmm. She probably either she did it, or she knows, or she knows who did it, huh. and what was done. And she's keeping it from the cops. I guess next episode we're probably gonna see the scene where. Oishi and uh, Kichi talk about it. And if he yeah. says that she's missing, then it lines up. Yeah. We just have to know what Oishi says because yeah, okay. that's true. then that's it'll true. line up the, you know? Yeah. 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 That's all we could predict now. So let's leave it. <clears throat> oh, there's one more thing. What? Who's the them? Uh, I was assuming ogres. So she's on the ogre side. Who knows? Oh. Who is this them? All right, guys, thanks for watching our reaction for Higurashi When They Cry episode six. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. Keep in mind, it's just an episode request, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.